Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to pour on this serving tray. It's relatively big, it's from Ikea and even if it looks, these tight things look like wood, they, they are always with a little bit of a surface uh, covering so I did sand this a little bit with some sandpaper, just really rough it up a little bit. Uh, it's nothing about every centimeter needs to be clean. Uh, then I washed it with alcohol, um, also just to get it really clean, everything that is on there. I taped the sides and because often the paint rides, uh, kind of rises under the tape, I put a little layer of dilute, diluted glue around the edges that will seal the tape but you can still get it off and you don't have these problems. I did the same with the bottom if you wonder why it's so shiny. That is not necessary necessarily. And these are the colors that I'm gonna use and I put a drop of silicone in it. I, I say silicone because every, everything that we use is basically silicone. But in this case I used a hair serum with dimethicone in it. It's thicker so that also has an impact on the size of the cells. Uh, dimethicone is silicone, silicone is dimethicone. The stuff in the spray is in, in sprays is dimethicone. In hair products you often have dimet uh, dimethicone and um, all that have that in there as a first or second mentioned ingredient you can use. Okay so let's give it a go. I want to do some ribbon pours that go over and under each other and then hopefully stretch it with looking nice. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. So okay I, I covered the the serving tray with a little white base simply that I have it in all edges and stuff like that. You don't need to have a base for every pour. I don't know why that is. Lots of people do that but it's just not necessary. Then I took a big cup and I basically put my colors in there almost individually. So one to the left, one to the right, etc. So I didn't mix them in the cup as little as possible. Then I even hold the cup a little bit like that and cover the, the existing color layer with white that I keep it more separate. I think that's for ribbon pores something that works rather well. Okay, what you can see now, I poured it in like an over and under and over and under pattern that you have a bit this, what I talked about, ribbons. When you then torch it, um, before you tilt it, you get cells that come from all the underlaying layers of the different paint layers. So, sorry, repeating myself there. Um, I have a lot of uh, beginners videos that explain all this, how everything works. And now when I tilt it, I have the benefit that I stretch the cells that I already have now. So they just get bigger. Um, what makes it a little bit more difficult is that of course also when you tilt it now and you stretch it in all directions, you eventually also break up a lot of cells. That's why it's really it's sometimes difficult that you A, first of all, need the right consistency. Second, the amount of paint that you use, and third, the way and you tilt or have to tilt. Okay, let's see.
Okay, so I stretched everything out and I have to say, I'm not saying it's ugly, but I didn't actually want so much color, but of course that's personal preference. There are still some nice cells in there, but also some uh, broke up simply. It's difficult if you can't run it over the side. So yeah, you tilt it in circular motion, but it can't go anywhere. So I think I eventually even have too much paint. But I'm always the most critic on my own things, so perhaps it is nice, I don't know, perhaps I have to look at it tomorrow. But it worked out pretty well, so in general I just would say be careful with the amount you have and the consistency is as always key, at the end it's just a normal pour. So I hope you enjoyed this, have a look at the description for the link to my social media platform and I hope to see you back soon.